you know, I thought today was, uh, you know, got good work in, uh, you know, added some, some situations, got overtime, um, you know, trying to put guys, you know, coming out of the scrimmage, just, uh, you know, their situational awareness. Uh, you know, had a little bit of, you know, park series work where guys had to uh, put themselves in the moment, you know, try to work to execute, you know, understand what the situation was calling for. Um, you know, I think it's, you know, it's, it's good to, to see some of the young players understand, understand, uh, understand and transition from down to down. Um, you know, coming out of the scrimmage, just the ownership of the down. I mean, that's something we're continuing to, to work to build upon. Uh, you know, yeah, it, it's really all newcomers, whether they're older or younger, uh, just kind of how we operate here, um, you know, working to play smart in, in each of those, uh, you know, with each of those opportunities. Um, you know, I thought the defense did a good job flying around, um, you know, offensively, uh, continuing to, uh, uh, to build upon, you know, just technique fundamentals, uh, you know, make sure that we're, we're doing a good job of, uh, of finishing plays and, you know, really, really pleased with, uh, you know, a lot of elements of our run game of where it's going, uh, you know, how that's, um, you know, just the physicality, you know, some of the spaces that, that we've been able to create, uh, you know, there uh, up front and, um, you know, with the with backs tight ends. I think the passing game is, is continuing to push. I, I think there's definitely an explosive element to it, um, you know, and just it's the the details within our timing, whether it's the route depth, whether it's you know uh, the spacing that's necessary, uh, you know all different all, all different dynamics, um, you know with with uh, new guys kind of working together and old guys that have been here, uh, you know continuing to challenge themselves in the details, and so um, I th definitely think I'm seeing it growth from that. But you know that's going to be the uh, the biggest focus for the next you know two and a half weeks as we're as we're preparing for uh, for game one, just so we can go play the best that we can. Um, you know able to get a little bit. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, we have some uh, elements here with the rain and, and wind. It was able to get to do a little bit of work um, uh, with guys, uh, you know, working that quarterbacks, receivers, you know, running backs, returners, you know, just uh, you don't know what the weather's you know, always going to hold. And um, you know, so I thought it was good to be able to, to get that. And, um, you know, Ryan Fitzgerald had a game winning, you know, game winning kick there at the end. And, you know, you know what I love is, you know, he's like, Coach, I want it, I want it outside. And I'm going to get a strong win. You know, rain and uh, you know was able to able to knock it through. So really impressive, just uh, you know seeing his continued growth um, and you know just ownership of you know, choosing difficult and choosing the hard the hard time, hard situation, and uh, you know being able to execute in the moment. So uh, you know I thought it was a, I thought it was a good day. You know still a lot of areas to to to, to build upon. After a second look at the scrimmage, what were some of your takeaways? Oh, uh, you know I, I think that you know I. I some of the things I just hit on, you know, I thought, uh, you know, the, the run game, um, you know, you see, you know, opportunities that where guys are creating space where there's, um, you know, uh, I thought that, you know, Richie looked really good up front, you know, the, you played limited series, but the times that he was in, uh, you know, it's good to see him, you know, operate, you know, full speed uh, uh, in, in that capacity, you know, the guys that we need, you know, that are experienced and older and good. I mean, those guys, you know, I thought they, they did a nice job. Um, you know, uh, like I mentioned, we had some of them that were limited in play counts, so they didn't get a ton of a ton of work. Uh, but uh, you know, I definitely was pleased with with some some of the uh, elements of things in our run game. I thought you know Sam Singl uh, Singleton had you know probably his best day. Uh, Cam Davis had some really you know tough uh, you know, hard nosed runs um, that, that I like to see. Jalen Lucas was explosive, did a good job uh, you know throughout th throughout it there you know in the running back room. Um, you know there were like I said like I said there were some missed opportunities and just you know really. Uh, you know, it was, it was some of the detail, just the detail things that, um, you know, within the passing game that we get, that's what we're building towards, making sure the depths, making sure the spacing, making sure that, you know, all elements of what we're being asked to do, that we can go out there and, uh, you know, have 11 guys playing as one on offense. But, um, you know, I, I, I thought there were some, some really good moments. I thought Jalen Brown, you know, had probably his best day, uh, you know, since he's been here, going back and, and watching it. You know, I just think he's really taking some, some positive steps. Um, you know, so I mean, that was that was positive. I thought the quarterbacks, I think DJ, uh, you know, for what we were asking him to do, um, you know, where he was putting the ball, you know, going through the progression of reads, only a handful of plays that, uh, you know, I'm not even saying like he was wrong in them, but he, you know, just just areas of technique and fundamentals to get better. But uh, you know, really like the ownership he has in the offense and what we're able, what we're going to be able to uh, continue to build upon with that. Um, you know, defensively, uh, you know, it was kind of like you know what I saw. I thought the guys played hard. Um, you know, there's some some missed some missed tackles that uh, you know technique, you know, fundamentals, making sure we're we're you know you're tracking where we need to track. Uh, you know, get opportunities. I mean, the guys there was physicality that was being put on display. There was you know we were able. To
able to you know create some uh, penetration and, and you know in, in certain uh, elements, whether it's in the pass game, um, you know getting the quarterback off the spot, um, you know, still you know still areas to, to continue to grow with, within that. But uh, you know I thought all in all I thought there was uh, you know, Jabril Rawls was really good. You know just a, a young DB that I thought made a couple plays on the ball. Uh, you know I'm liking what I'm seeing in his growth and you know what he's. You know what he's doing. I thought you know, I thought Q was good. You know I had all you know one play that um, you, you continue to work and get better. I really liked what our linebackers did. I thought they played fast. Um, you know I mean it was you seeing them work to communicate. Blake, Blake Nicholson I thought had a great scrimmage. Um, you know and just going back after watching that and uh, you know excited about you know some of the positive steps. I thought uh, Daniel Lyons had a really good day. You know there at the D tackle spot and uh, you know continue to build upon there. So. It was good work, and uh, you know, got some got some good uh, good looks within our special teams units of, of seeing where some guys that might be able to help us and you know, continuing to build upon uh, you know the, the core schemes of what we're trying to run. How well is Shaheen playing right now? He's uh, you know, I was talking about it last night. I mean, he's really taken some positive steps, and you know, he's been um, he's been a good player for us, and you know, for the challenge is to go become a great player, and you know, it's. For him, you know, the talent and ability is there, you know, the knowledge is there. It's the application sometimes, you know, almost wanting to do too much in certain situations uh, that have kind of got him in trouble at times. But uh, I think he is, um, I think he's playing really well. I mean, just, you know, we had a couple really nice tackles in the, in the scrimmage. Um, you know, had, you know, a couple of situations where he can continue to grow upon it. But I mean, even the ownership of him, knowing where and what he needs to do to get it corrected before he's having to be coached on it. That's, uh, that's exciting because you, you know that he's something that he's emphasizing, something that he's working to improve. Um, you know, I think in his, in his coverage, he's been as good as you know, he's ever been. And I mean, you know, one-on-one -on -one situations, you know, you know, man, zone, whatever that might be, I just think he's playing at a very high level. With, with Shaheen, we, we see pretty much every day how much he likes to talk. It seems like a lot of the other guys on defense are maybe more the lead by example type guys. Is he the vocal leader? And I guess how, how does that help having that guy in the back end of the defense? Uh, I mean, you know, when you're in the defensive backfield, you gotta you got to be willing to communicate, obviously, as a necessity for your for your teammates, um, you know, just within the course of plays. But, uh, you know, you know Shai's not afraid to talk. So uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's definitely – one that's put a lot of uh, investment into the program. He's put a lot of investment into you know his growth. I mean, he wants it extremely bad. And uh, you know, that when you have guys that uh, are willing to try to step up and be the example when they talk, people have a, tend to listen a little bit more. And I think Shy has done a nice job of that. Um, you know, and, and it's really helping us in, in where we're trying to go. Has Edwin Joseph done a good job stacking good days here recently? Yeah, I mean, he's you know for him it's, it is just more the consistency. It's play to play. Um, you know, I mean, we want to see growth. We want to see you know uh, Edwin you know take those those positive steps um, you know for us. I think he's I think he's world of talent, uh, world of ability. Um, you know, but to 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 take the next step, I mean, it's just got to it's got to be in the consistency, play in and play out. Um, but uh, you know, definitely something you're know, very excited about what his potential can be. Uh, you continue to challenge, challenge him to, to push himself to just be all that, that that potential is. Coach, what have you seen from uh, Byron Turner and some of the depth at the end? Yeah, that, that's that's one thing you know. And then you know, go into it much earlier. But I mean, I, I think that that's really. I thought um, Sione had his best day. I think Byron, you know, had one of his best days. Um, you know, you see growth. Byron played for us last year. Played played a pretty solid amount for us last year. And you know, I think it's I think it's you know night and day from where he was. Uh, you know, just in the deep, the, the discipline, the detail, the technique. Um, you know, but he was he was you know somebody that was you know definitely a an, an impact for us last year. Um, you know, being able to go in there and you know you serve the role that he did. I mean, I'm expecting you know a much better version. And you know, I think he earned the time that he got last year. And I think this year. Um, I think we're going to continue to see an increase in the in the production uh, with the opportunities that he gets. But you know, definitely excited about that group. Um, you know, I think Aaron Hester uh, has really put himself in the conversation to be able to to help this team. It's you know how much is going to go is going to depend on um, you know just the, the same thing you, we talked about a little bit earlier, just the consistency, the details, the uh, you know the, the fundamental aspects of it that uh, can help him and, and achieve and all the things that he can do. Feels like Amari has been a pretty consistent playmaker on offense. Is that I mean, what's it say about him being a guy who should be going into senior year of high school, not even playing the primary position, is recruited at to be the yeah, main you know, I, I think Amari, Amari had a good day today, and it, you know, it was, it was one that uh, you know 
Saturday and for the scrimmage was probably his toughest day. And I mean, it was, uh, and that's the thing that you know, try to you, know, you remind him about, and you remind you know coaches, everybody is that you know he should be going into his senior year of high school, and you know he was he was in Dope Campbell Stadium, you know, trying you know we, we try to put as much you know, emphasis on that, um, you know, and there's probably some nerves and, and all the things that he got to go through, and you know there were some areas that that he knows after seeing the scrimmage and going back and see you know living it through it throughout the moment with coaches not on the field having to go out there and you know the the communication the alignment the execution the finer details and just the speed that that accelerates in those type of uh, uh you know live opportunities uh it was it was it was something that i think was a learning pro uh, you know process and experience for him and you know he came back today and i thought he had you know a really good day and so i'm uh, definitely excited um you know he and he has to understand that and we all want you, know, you look at him he's big he can run he catch all those things and you know he's got to trust the process of growth right just as we have to as well and uh, but very excited about what i saw and today was big because i wanted to see how he would bounce back from you know his first scrimmage uh, experience and i thought he did an outstanding job coach we have a question from zoom Logan Robinson. Hey, Coach Adam Fuller talked to the last after this uh, scrimmage and talked about Samuel Singleton. Uh, what do you see from him this fall camp? He said he was running really hard, and you know, can he jump in this into this room that's already loaded with talent and contribute this upcoming season? Yeah, you know, Sam, uh, I think has had a you know great nine days. You know, obviously, you know, we'll go back and watch today uh, uh, how that went. But I mean, you know, I think you know Sam's somebody that. Uh, you know, he's a year in, he's a redshirt freshman. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, you want everything yesterday, but you're seeing growth and process that he's, you know, he's got a great attitude every day, he comes to work, you know, he is a very talented back. I mean, he's got speed, uh, explosiveness. You know, one of my favorite plays from the scrimmage the other day was, you know, you, you could, he had a couple runs where he broke tackles and exploded, but I mean, he had one of the best pass protection pickups. Uh, you know, in the scrimmage and allowed us to have a big, big throw down the field. Um, you know, I was, I was really pleased with him uh, and just his understanding. Uh, but now it's, it's still coming back to you know just that, that daily, uh, the, the daily approach and those finer details. But I absolutely think that Sam's gonna have a chance to be able to help this team. At what capacity? You know, I think it's gonna be a lot on him and uh, you know just continuing to earn that role. But uh, you know, I, I feel great about. Uh, where that room is, and I really believe that Sam's put himself, you know, firmly in the conversation to be able to help us. Do you like what you saw from Jalen Lucas, and what what do you see actual fit with him in that offense and what he brings out? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think he's a dynamic player. Um, you know, he had a good scrimmage. You know, we tried to try to mix a lot of different things for him to do, uh, just to kind of see where he wa where he was, and I think his. His study, his understanding is something that's that's really good. I think it's going to continue to get better, um, just with every rep that he takes. And uh, you know, I thought he had another good day today. Um, de definitely excited about uh, you know, his impact. Any change of plans for Jackson? Uh, so you know, obviously we're, we're we have uh, plenty of contingency plans, and right now we're all set. Um, you know, obviously the, the number one you know thing for us is the well-being and safety of our players, everybody in part of the program. Uh, you know, and our prayers go out to any anybody that has been you know affected, uh, you know, here by the storm that's come through you know throughout the state and as it continues to progress on. Uh, but uh, you know, right now it's all all plans are, are there moving forward. You know, we do have a contingency plan of, of potentially practicing. Um, you know, indoors at, uh, if we need to. Um, you know, we're gonna see the fields. We're gonna see what all that looks like. Uh, as much of, as much of this trip, yes, the work. You know, we're gonna work our butts off when we get there. Um, more than anything else, it's just a time for us to 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 be together and to to be able to kind of get away uh, to have you know just you know some of those moments where these guys get to, to have experiences and and you know build those relationships. They're gonna last a lifetime. And uh, you know, this Jacksonville trip's been really really good for our program. Um, you know, so I'm great. You know, I'm excited about it. You know, obviously, you know, the, the storm coming through, uh, is something that we've had to, had to monitor and we'll continue to monitor uh, as we're uh, as we're going through it. But right now, we have we have a couple different contingency plans. You know, if we need to change, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll be all set when it comes to that. All right, thank you.